my colleagues, uh, Kimani. Kimani, allow us to have some light moments. This, this is a radical, <laughs> but he's now a refined diplomat. <laughs> it's a process of uh, this dialogue. We are honored that you found time to see us and we, can, we are here to make a presentation. We are very happy to do so because as we make this presentation, we, are, we realize it is not just to William Ruto or Raila Odinga, but it's a thing for our country. But before I continue, our team here, you know everybody. You know a head of state knows everybody, even those <laughs> who, do, who think they, he doesn't know them. So Opio Andai, a leader of a minority, and also so deputizing our side. And you know Senator Omgen uh, Nyamira is a senior counsel. So for me, as far as I'm concerned in this group, I don't think of another learned brother. <laughs> uh, so that is uh, Omgeni. Uh, Amina has just prayed for us. She's from all the way from the coast in Kilifi. Sorry, Malindi. Malindi, member for Malindi. Uh, and the head of our technical team was uh, Moshima Jeremiah Kioni, uh, whom you know very well. And uh, we had technical teams here, Adam Zolo, uh, Abubakar Zain, and uh, we have that lady who works, uh, Wangechi, works with uh, Wandai, and she was in our team, communications. Um, have I left out anybody else? We have apologies of Honorable Eugene Wamalo, and also, no, just Eugene, actually, because Amina was not with us when we met Raila. Uh, several minutes ago, I think about two hours ago. So she, I think she wanted to come and meet the president first <laughs> before she sees Honorable Raila. So we are very honored. And as Kimani has said, uh, it took us quite a while. First of all, to develop goodwill it was not easy. And we, some of us nearly got killed during those demonstrations. And you know, you have the brief. So we are very angry. Oh, I saw Kimani, I saw this man, noisy fellow from <laughs> Kikuyu. <laughs> so, but at the end of it, and I must tell you, the diplomat in our team is Aaron. I can tell you that Aaron, I removed my heart. When the issues were very difficult, Aaron would come in and give us a way forward. Uh, the technical team did exceedingly well. Um, we had hard positions. I reserve my comments. <laughs> I reserve my comments. Those are the moments. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. You know, you see, you've been following. I told you, you can't hide anything from my head of state. So um, today we are very happy to come before you and uh, Deputy President to um, make this presentation. You know, one of the things we had great difficulty with was... Um, they kept on saying, His Excellency the President. We were very angry with them. Who gave you authority? That's an issue for discussion. That's how we started these things. Very hard things. But at the end of it, now I think after today, when you meet your brother, Raila Odinga, who call you Your Excellency, Excellency William Samoya Rapruto, because of this work. Uh, and, and, and no hang ups, uh, and yet, the work that lies ahead is equally important. Our recommendation is, because this is a negotiated document, negotiated, therefore, we plead with you that um, the Kenya Kwanzaa teams in Parliament, in both houses of Parliament, be adequately guided so that we can have a fast-tracked process in order to settle this country to be able to do the next important things. And therefore, I heard Kimani even here refer, he didn't talk when we were in, with Raila, he did not talk about uh, uh, public participation. <laughs> and the reason is, remember, you remember Kimani, one of the things we said, we must have these stakeholders, we don't want to be accused of not having had public participation. This doctrine is written in black and white in our constitution. Therefore, even if you have to do uh, public participation of the bills, the consequent bills upon the report, which has happily been adopted, 
we want to suggest that we do not take all the time. You can do public participation and then you get a lot of problems coming out of it. So fast tracking it and then, and then getting the final product. We all know, for example, we do not have an IBC. The other day I went to take part in elections to, for the Law Society of Kenya. And you know, I saw people wearing IABC things. I looked at them, I said, if I was a contestant, I would take this matter to cause them. There is no IABC. But they went on. These were lawyers who should know. Um, so we don't have an IABC. So, so people, Banisa, have every reason to feel aggrieved. But then, I think we are able, if we fast track this thing, because even the ruling that was made by some judge in this matter did not give the timelines. Aaron kept on, actually, it's like he knew some of these judges. Because you guys, you know, there's this thing in court. But now we're able to move with speed and, and implement this. So we want to urge again fast tracking and also having it as it is because it's a negotiated product. We have uh, precedents highlighting, I mean, this position. And it's not like we, we're in a hurry to, to force any situation. You know it better. This is your country. And your brother, Ray Lodinga, is equally uh, committed to this process. There will be forces, as expected, within the coalitions and outside, within parliament and outside, who may not like to have a peaceful country and therefore may want to derail even what we have come up with. We want to ask that you use the authority given to you uh, by law to push this thing through. Um, I think that is what I want to say. The five agenda items are highlighted in the document and uh, I think we can now happily present the product to you. I don't know whether anybody has it, uh, Amgen. Um, we, Amgen, Amgen, I was very suspicious sometimes about Amgen, uh, but now he's a good guy. Uh, <laughs> I had to send Jeremiah Kioni to look thrice at every sentence. Uh, very good in editing. And uh, I can tell you, we would not have even come to you if it was not for the fact we had very competent, competent technical team. Uh, that Mudomi, uh, I cannot pronounce the other name. I just call him Mudomi. It's a Daraka name. <laughs> Uh, Vionkori. I never heard of the name, he's from my neighborhood, but that is, he did very well along with uh, Zane here and Professor Adams. From here, Your Excellency, just proceed. Just give us a final product and, and the country will settle. And uh, as I said, the difficult issues, they, you, as we speak here, their family is mourning. Uh, we could not even get a place to hold uh, uh, a prayer service for the, for the killed, uh, for the young men who lost their lives. And, and they had to come up to my secretariat. We pretended we can have a church service there. Because the churches there would not touch us. Right? And, and of course, the issue of Kimani was very eloquent on, on uh, stolen, I mean, destroyed property and reparations. So you may have to think of a commission between you and your brother and see how best we can actually deal with this matter of grieving Kenyans grieving they don't understand what happened uh, all they know is they lost their loved ones and so uh, that's a matter you consult uh, principle of concurrence uh, discussion concurrence I'm sure is not a difficult one but then finally Kimani Chungo was very kind to Raila He's, he actually announced to him and I believe he was doing it repeating <laughs> what he already knows that uh, President William Ruto is campaigning for Raila to become the AU chairperson. This is a matter that puts all of us together as a country. And we are very proud of that situation. And so, without much ado, can we now move to the next thing, appeal? Yeah, thank you. I think you can make your comments after we give you the document. We, Your Excellency, you allow us to hand over the report, then I will invite the Deputy President. We, we cannot invite you to speak when the Deputy President is here. We'll ask him to make brief remarks, then invite you after we hand over the report.
So your Excellency, that is the report, and you have a look at it. And now 